Shalom, Shalom, giving all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rabbah Kakodash. The bones of my elders at Great Millstone, sing honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the saints of men, women, and children, like a sister of the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Pardon, um, my nose is a little stopped up, but I couldn't let this article go to go to waste. CDC spied on tens of millions under pretext of CD19 compliance. This is not going to be a long video, but there's a, there's a term where they say never let a good crisis go to waste. Well, I have to be careful with certain things that I say because they will try to flag me or give me a strike. But you pretty much know where I'm going here, right? But let's get straight to the point. I'm not going to hold you. Documents show that while the ADC used the looming specter of the CD19 to justify rapidly requiring, requiring forgive me, acquiring comprehensive cell phone location data on tens of millions of people. The information was ultimately used for much more than simply monitoring compliance with curfews and social distancing measures. Hmm. Americans' visits to schools and places of worship were measured at a granular level. Think about um, um, salt and sugar, granulated. Right, while another program focused on surveilling the effectiveness of policy interventions inside the Navajo Nation, and another concentrated on exposure to certain building types, urban areas, and violence. Okay, so this is Job, Job 13 and 27. Thou puttest my feet also in the stocks. And lookest narrowly unto all my paths, thou settest a print upon the heels of my feet. It's almost self explanatory, people. Like I say, I gotta be careful what I say. But you 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 pretty much catching the drift, right? Right? <laughs> Jumping down at the other um the next portion what I've highlighted down below. While the CDC insisted SafeGraph's data was critical for ongoing response efforts such as hourly monitoring of activity in curfew zones or detailed counts of visits to participate in pharmacies for vaccine monitoring, jumping down, purposefully created an open-ended list of used cases which included monitoring curfews, neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor visits, visits to churches, schools, and pharmacies, and also a variety of analysis with this data specifically focused on violence. So it's much more just to monitor your visits to the pharmacy people. But I digress. Psalm 64 and 5. They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say who shall see them. They search out iniquities. They accomplish. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. <laughs> but jumping down to 10. Say verse um, 9. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him and all the upright in heart shall glory. And that's what we did when this, when this, the beginning of this outbreak happened, so to say, right? We just trusted in the Lord. We just trusted in the Lord, you know, and, and you have individuals out there like Yohanna who was telling people, you know, go ahead and go ahead, go ahead. But if you do that, then what about the Revelation 13? You're going to really tell people to go ahead and do that too? I'm going to leave it at that, you know, because then they're going to try and hit me. But, nonetheless, though, the elect, the men of the Lord, all 
right? This is Second Corinthians. Pardon me. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. I'm gonna close out. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. With that being said, I pray you was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quite Allah. Muffle the ball. Shalom.